Hi, this is Mark James of Panther Protection Services. A number of people have written to me and asked me, Mark, what are some of the most important considerations that you work with your students on when it comes to shooting a shotgun? I say the three biggest things that I work with them on is, number one, understand the importance of understanding the pattern spread or distribution of the shot. What does the shot shape look like when you fire your shotgun? All shotguns fire a little bit differently, and the, the shot string or distribution looks a little bit differently with different types of shot, different types of shotguns and different types of ammo. The second thing is learning how to pump on the recoil, so you're automatically ready to break the next round and be in position to make the, take the next shot. The third thing is learning how to pull the shotgun into your shoulder. When you shoot a shotgun, you should not be all bruised up. If you're getting a thump, then you don't have the shotgun against your shoulder. It should be more of a rock and not a thump. And if you learn how to lean into it, you're going to have even less of a rock. So what we're going to do is we're going to fire four shots from common handgun distances. We're going to fire one shot from seven yards. We're going to fire one shot from 10 yards. We're going to fire one shot from 15 yards and one shot from 20 yards. We're using double out plus. That is the preferred ammo that I use. Do some people sometimes use bird shot? Absolutely. Are there some considerations? Yes, but what I like about shotguns is that shotguns rip flesh and bone. In a deadly force situation, that's what I want. Something with multiple projectiles that rip flesh and bone, because that's how shotguns get their bad to the bone reputation. What we're going to do right now is we're going to take the first shot from seven yards. Most important consideration, leaning into the shot, pulling the weapon into my shoulder. What we're going to do right now is we've taken a shot at seven yards. We're going to now take a shot at ten yards and look at the distribution of, of the shot shape. Okay, we fired a shot at seven yards, we fired one at ten. Now we're gonna we're gonna fire a shot now at fifteen yards. Right now we have a shot at seven yards, we have one at ten, we have one at fifteen. Now we're gonna break one at twenty yards. Okay, so right now we fired a shot at 7 yards, we fired one at 10 yards, we fired one at 15 yards, we fired one at 20. Now we're going to break around at 25 yards. Okay, so we, we fired five different shots. We fired one, one at 7 yards, one at 10, one at 15, one at 20. One at 25. Before we take a look at the handiwork here, a general rule of thumb is a double lot buck. Most double lot buck typically spreads about one inch per yard as a good general rule of thumb. Some people like a wider spread distribution, some like a smaller distribution. My personal preference is I like a smaller distribution. So the double lot buck is a quantity tap personal defense ammo. It's a very tight pattern without having to put chokes in the shotgun. Let's take a look at some of the work. At seven yards, what we have is a one and a half by two inch um, shot distribution of the double out buck. At ten yards, we have a two by two, two inches by two inches distribution of the shot. At fifteen yards, we have a two by four, two inches by four inches distribution of the shot shape. At twenty yards, five by six, five inches by six inches distribution of the shot shape. And backing up to 25 yards, once again, all these traditional handgun distances, we have a 9 inch by 11 inch distribution of the shot. So I think with anything that we fire here would be good for us, pretty much bad for the bad guy. So the most important thing is take your shotgun, go to the range, ask yourself, what do I want in a shot distribution? Do I want a wider distribution? Do I want a more narrower distribution? Most people, when it comes to multiple projectiles, will benefit from a wider shot distribution. Once again, for me, I like the more restrictive, so that's my personal preference. So 
take a shotgun, go to the range, get different types of ammo, find out what your shotgun loves.